Hey crafty cuties, welcome back to Paper Terrace. Uh, so I wasn't planning on filming right now because I'm like sitting, this isn't the best place to be filming, but I thought I would just go ahead, turn the camera on, and if you're watching this now, I guess I decided to put it up for whatever reason. <laughs> it's just going to be kind of a pretty easy video and I've done this before. So I am going to be dyeing cheesecloth to be used in like whatever kind of projects, journals, um, embellishments, things like that. So I have a new pack of cheesecloth here. I have gloves just because I don't want my hands to get too inked up. I have a little Tupperware, some water, and like a little spray bottle. And the inks that I want to use for the colors that I want. Right now I just grabbed these colors and so this was a three pack I got from Amazon. Um, got the cheesecloth from Amazon too. And so we have Distress Oxide Mustard Seed. We have Carved Pumpkin and Wild Honey. I thought that that would be just a nice combo for fall and um, those would go really well together. I did grab this one. It's actually really dark, but I like that it has shimmer in it. I might use it, maybe not. And then I have just a little like tin that I use for dyeing things and I have it to the side so that when I'm done, I can like put it over there. All right, so I'm gonna start by just taking a piece of this. Now you can do quite a bit of this at once, which is my plan, but I don't wanna dye all of it. And if you haven't used cheesecloth before, there's several layers, like like it might sometimes look like you're you have one layer, but really, if you can usually pull apart and there's going to be like, yeah, there's like four layers in like this piece right here kind of thing. So there, there's a lot. So keep that in mind. And I think I'll just start, I'm not exactly even sure how much I need to dye or how much I want to dye, but if I wanted to do several different colors, I would like to have each of those colors be like a little bit different, if that makes sense. So We'll start with one big piece here and I'm just going to kind of put it in here. I could put all of this in here at once and then just put dye, but anyways, instead of, I'll just show you what I'm going to do. I don't really have a plan to be quite honest. I'm using a little water because I do like the color to be um, not so dark or vibrant and this just kind of helps that my cat is on my lap and he's like, what are you doing? So I think... Yeah, I think it might be fun to do a couple different colors like I was just saying. And I think I'll just start with this and see how I like it. And then we can go ahead and add or take away. And you can open this up and then just put the color in if you want. Also, that's one way to do it. And you can mix it with water and then just put your cheesecloth in. But I think I'm going to spray because I just sort of like how it gives that look of not being like like in some areas it might be a little darker and some it might be a little lighter and I like that. But depending on what you what look you like. So I might use a couple different ones on one piece here. Yeah, I think that looks fun. And I'm even going to uh, allow some of this to stay white. Um I want a little color, I guess, but it doesn't have to be fully saturated, if that makes sense. And so yeah, so this whole piece I'm gonna do, I think, in the oranges. <laughs> My cat is really wondering what's up. And I'm gonna take this one, just to get that variation in color. This is really, really bright, to be honest, and I didn't expect that, but that's okay. I think once it all dries, it's going to look good. I like the color. I just didn't, I actually didn't know. So what I could do if I wanted, I could use a little yellow, but like I was saying, I think it might be fun to have a couple different cheesecloths that have different colors. So let's just keep going with it for now. At the end, I will try to show you a little, like maybe embellishment that I made where I used this. Um, that way you can kind of see what the end result looks like. And I guess maybe if for some reason I don't get to that in this video, 
just in case, because I'm going to have to let it dry and everything, then I'll definitely post some photos on my Instagram because I just realized, like, wait, I'm, I would have to wait for this to dry and everything to be able to show you the end result. But, uh, okay, I think that's enough color. You know what, you guys? I didn't even put the gloves on. That's so funny. I'm going to do that now. <laughs> Just because I now kind of want to mix this around a little bit. Now, if you wanted to keep it with like that variation color, you don't have to like go in and mix it. But I kind of want to just use up this color here. And I think I'm going to add even a little bit more water. Because again, that will kind of help mute it down. And then... Ooh, it looks very Halloween-y right now, I think. I think that's going to be good. Yep. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, like I said, is take this. So sorry, guys. That was probably very, very loud. I'm going to try to just kind of set this out on my dirty aluminum pan. And I'm just going to let it dry. I like it to be kind of crinkly, but this will be good enough. So we're just going to let that dry. And I think you can already see kind of how there is, again, that variation in color that I keep saying. So we'll set that aside. And then I'm going to go ahead and we'll do this one more time together. And I think I'm going to, I'm just going to use the same thing because I'm too lazy to go wash it out right now. And we're going to do yellow. We'll see how that looks. You can do the same idea with, um, uh, let me grab it. I have some, like, uh, what? I can't think of what it's called, sorry. It's the Hug Snug Seam Binding. So you can do the same idea with seam binding. And um, yeah, so that's another, just, it's convenient when you have all of these things out. Uh, it's just convenient to be able to go ahead and dye up a bunch of stuff and then you have a bunch of things that kind of go together and whatnot. So, okay. Just going to cut another chunk. Not really measuring how much I'm doing here. Okay, so... Yeah, like I said, I'm just not going to... going to add more water this time, but I, I'm hoping this one will be more yellow overall, so... There's obviously going to be some orange because I didn't clean my thing out. So again, this one's mustard seed. Oh yeah, that's nice. Okay, and I could flip it over, but with this cheesecloth being so lightweight, it really kind of goes through to both sides. Now I do kind of want to see if I have another yellow. I just have my stuff right next to me here, my dyes because I do like to kind of mix colors. Ooh, fossilized amber is not yellow, but that one might look kind of cool. Let's see, I had the wrong cap, of course, on it. Do you guys do that too, or is that just me? So fossilized amber is more of an orange, but I just feel like it kind of goes with this. Let's see. Yes, because this, Mixing it kind of makes this more mustardy. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was going for. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. So it's kind of fun to be able to, you know, mix the colors. And, and this is also great to do if you have a certain project and you have different colors that you're trying to keep or that you're trying to, like, you know, match. So I'm going to do that and then just, like, a little bit of the fossilized amber. In fact, we could try spraying that. Oh yeah, I even like the fossilized amber by itself. So I think I might end up doing another piece with just the fossilized amber, even though I like it mixed in with this too, but by itself, I think it will look really nice. I hope this is helpful to you guys. I mean, it's just more or less, I'm just crafting along with you or maybe you're crafting along with me. <laughs> it's a very easy project. Okay, so then I want this one to dry and I think that I can 
Now we have so much color in here, so this would be a good time to go ahead and dye other things, obviously. Use up that dye. I'm hoping I can spread this across. They're not really going to mix too much right now because they're not really that wet, but I'm going to be kind of careful. I like how those look together a lot. Okay. So like I was saying, maybe I'll take some of this. Maybe I'll just take it all. I haven't used this in a while and why not? So now we're doing some seam binding and cheesecloth. I'm sure I'll be able to use I didn't know there was this much. It's funny because it just keeps coming and coming. <laughs> <gasps> oh my. Okay, so much more than I thought. Uh, you guys, when is it going to end? Oh wow, there is a lot more. I'm just, okay, sorry, sorry. All right, we're just going to pop this in like that. For this, I'm going to, I kind of want to soak up all that color, so... You know, I thought this was going to be quite messy, and I really like that fossilized amber, so I'm going to go ahead and just spray this down too. But yes, I thought this was going to be a lot messier than it is, but everything is actually really staying contained in here. So now we have, obviously, when you have so many colors, it's like they almost turn brown, but most of us crafters like that kind of brown, grungy mess of a color so it works okay and again I'm not <laughs> I don't know if you can see my cat I don't know if I don't care about soaking it all up but I just kind of wanted to make use of it really okay I didn't think I was going to do another but I think now I'm going to do one more chunk of <laughs> cheesecloth and I'm gonna do I think just the fossilized amber because I like it so much and I think it's going to be a really nice color to accompany the others Oops. and I think you know I might as well just use up the rest of this or dye it all up I should say I'm gonna keep a little piece actually because there are times when I need white kitty my cat is trying to play with me right now. He is the cutest little kitten ever. So we'll just set that aside up there. You can't do that with your claws, mister. Okay. Yeah, this really, I guess, turned into a video. I'm, I'm sure at this point, I'm actually gonna go ahead and put the video up. Just a little bit of water. And then just the same thing. I hope you guys are doing well. My kids are liking school a lot. And we have this new kitten that's so cute. And yeah, we're just living life over here the best we can. Okay. Just gonna, this one I'm just kind of really not worrying about a few white pieces because I think that will be just fine so you can see I'm not really unfolding it all the way and that's going to really let there be some little white in the cheesecloth yeah I forgot that this is such a nice color but I really like it Okay, now I gotta remember we have a lot of ink left in the thing here just from spraying and so I can just use up this cheesecloth here and just kind of sop it all up. Okay, I think that's good. So we'll add a little bit of water. See, this one has like, I just kind of went quickly so there's lots of white and I might just go ahead and add more ink to that but let's just see how I like it. Now that this actually turned into more time than I thought, um, I probably will just go ahead and add a photo at some point um, to show you what these look like. 
kind of dried and like on a project. So let me know if you've done this before and if you haven't, do you think you'll be giving it a try? Yeah, I think I want a little bit more, but I mean, yeah, that's really all there is to it. And it's kind of fun to just do a big, um, what am I trying to say? A big batch of this. And then, like I said, you'll just have it all ready for your projects. And especially if you're, if you're someone like me who kind of gravitates towards certain colors, then you kind of know what those colors are and you can just choose your favorites and just have it ready for you. Okay, so I think this one's done and I'm just gonna kind of stick this in the other side over here. And we're gonna call that a day. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> okay, guys. Wow, now that, uh, that orange looks super bright and I hope you can tell there is a difference between the bright yellow and the fossilized amber, but on camera, it doesn't really look like it, but I promise there is, so. So I just made a couple quick embellishments to show you how I incorporated the cheesecloth. I love how it turned out, and if you are wanting to see me make some of these embellishments, just be sure to um, stay tuned. Make sure you're subscribed because I will have a video crafting with you and making embellishments just like these. So I will see you guys in the next video. I hope you all have a lovely day and I'll see you later. Bye.